you're a podcast guest, you know that interviews matter. But did you know that there is actually a few things you can do after the conversation is over to really make sure that you build a long lasting connection and get some business opportunities your way? This is what this video is all about. Okay, so the interview is over. Should you say thank you, bye? Absolutely not. Make sure to have at least a minute or two to have a post-interview chat. And the post-interview chat is really the place where the magic happens. And here's why. The post-interview chat is powerful because it allows you and the host to reflect on the conversation you had and discuss further. The first thing you want to do is let the host know. If you have a minute or two, let him or her know and ask them if they have a minute to stick around so you can actually have this post-interview chat. And a thing you can do if you enjoyed the conversation, if you think the host did a great job, let them know. Pay them a compliment. It's always nice to be kind to other people. So if that's the case, don't hold back. Pay them a nice compliment. In one of the previous videos, I said that the podcast interview is actually not about you. It's about the listener and about the host. So you should be a giver first, serve first. And how can you do that with the post interview chat? That's very simple. You can simply ask the host, are you looking for other guests to interview? Perhaps once the interview is over, you can think of a couple of people you know that would be great fits for the show. And if that's the case, you can ask the host. And if they tell you yes, definitely let them know. I've been an interviewer, I've been an interviewee, and I'm always happy to quote unquote play matchmaker. I'm always happy to send introductions to people. And that's something people then remember me for. So if there is somebody in particular that you know and think would be a great guest for the show, ask the host if they're looking for guests and then make that introduction by email. An additional thing you should think about is the networking side of things. You probably had an exchange with the host via email or perhaps that happened with their assistants or a booking service or something like that. What I typically do after an interview, I always ask the host or the guest if it's okay with them that I connect on LinkedIn, the business social media and Facebook. The reason for Facebook is that Facebook lets you see more the personal side of things. So maybe you get to know that you're both fans of the same band or something like that and that helps you strengthen the connection you two build. Did you come up with a possible collaboration idea? Perhaps something that came out from the interview sparked an idea. Maybe it's a joint webinar, a speaking gig or something like that. If that's the case, let the host know in the post interview chat. Your interview may serve as the icebreaker, as the beginning of a possible collaboration. So don't hesitate. Let them know if you would like to co-host a webinar with them or maybe you have a membership site and you would like them to be a guest there or something like that. You organize meetups, you are looking for guest speakers. Let the host know what's on your mind when it comes to working together, collaborating. There are a couple of additional things you can do and that fall into the category of things to do after the podcast interview. The first one is to actually give the show some love. Did you enjoy the interview? Perhaps you listened to some of the past episodes and you enjoyed the show. If that's the case, write an iTunes review and leave some ratings. Podcasters always love to get some love, some iTunes reviews and ratings. So don't be afraid to do that. And in addition, if you had a great time during the interview, you can also post about it on social media, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, you name it. And speaking of LinkedIn, I have a tip to share with you that I learned from Sarah Williams from the Tough Girl podcast. What she typically does, and I've started to do the same thing as well, is not only I connect with the host or even guest when I'm the host on LinkedIn and Facebook, but on LinkedIn, 
I endorse their skills and I also write them a nice recommendation. So if I had a great time during the interview, I thought they were a great interviewer or something like that, I write that on their LinkedIn profile so that they get not only some positive iTunes reviews and ratings, but they also get some nice social proof that then they can add to their LinkedIn profile or even their website. Doing the things we went over in this video will help you stand out as a podcast guest. Hosts remember great guests, people who provide them and their listeners with value. If you let them an iTunes review, you let them an endorsement on LinkedIn, a recommendation, whatever, they're going to remember that. And guess what? They are likely to say yes to you if a few months from now or next year you're interested in coming back on the show. They're going to remember you not only because of the content, but also because of everything else you have done after the podcast interview is over.